what goes around comes around. One of the first prospect videos I did for the 2019 NHL Draft was about Pod Colson. This was a video that I uploaded back when I was in LA, and it was talking about how the pressure is all on this young Russian, how he's going to be the best Russian in the draft, and how if he really wants to solidify himself as a top talent, as a second, third overall worthy player like people were saying he was, he was going to need to go over to the MHL and put up what I said was a minimum 0.9 points per game. That was the little label that I put on him. I said if he wants to prove himself, 0.9 points per game in the MHL, that's what he has to accomplish. Just based off of the previous historical records of players in that league, I felt that that was an appropriate number to gauge as a top 5 draft pick. But we are a year removed, pretty much a year removed, 9 months-ish removed from the Hlinka Gretzky and but Colson only had 0.66 points per game in the MHL. In fact, he didn't necessarily have a season that most people would say is worthy of a top 5 spot after all. And people have been kind of asking throughout the season, okay, what exactly is it with Pud Colson? What's the issue here? Well, before I get into my little spiel, I wanted to direct all of you to Will Scouch. He made a scouching report, quote-unquote scouting report, on Vasily Podkolzin recently, and it is a very, very in-depth and incredibly done scouting report. And a lot of what he said bleeds into my thought process too, because I've always wanted to make a video about Podkolzin throughout the year, but I didn't really know when was the appropriate time to do that, nor did I really understand what exactly it was I wanted to to articulate. So check out Will and his video, it was great. But I wanted to talk a little bit about what Pud Colson is, what he is not, and what exactly people would like him to be. This was kind of touched on in Will's video, but I'd like to take a look at it here on this channel. Pud Colson, as we saw at the Hlinka Gretzky tournament, is what Craig Button described as a bulldog. Somebody who just goes. He goes and he goes. And he's so powerful and he's strong, hard on his opponents, forechecking all the way out there 110% every step of the way, good defensive decision making, and overall just a very overwhelmingly dominant game over his opponents. Dominant in terms of physicality and pressure, not necessarily in terms of offensive skills, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Pud Colson is somebody who thrived in the Hlinka Gretzky tournament because his work ethic was so strong that he was able to take a step up over his U18 competition consistently because those guys, you know, they're other 18-year-olds. Pud Colson is probably one of the hardest working players in this draft, aside from guys like Turcotte, Greva, and Krebs. So, Pud Colson, as a guy with an engine who's always running, is somebody who was able to dominate the U18s with his amazing footline speed and his accurate shot. But again, his production and league play wasn't all that good. You're looking at the numbers right now. You can see that he didn't have that many points in the VHL or the MHL. So what exactly was the reason behind that? Well, if it were up to me, I think Pud Colson obviously playing in a limited role that did hold him back, and playing fourth line minutes, it did hold him back as well. Also, getting moved around with different teams throughout the season, that held him back even further. But what I believe held Pud Colson back the most is the overarching conclusion and process of his game thus far. Will made this point in his scouting report that Pud Colson works very hard, and he's got some really good tools that make him such a lovable player to coach, and such a good player to have on your team. But he asked the question, how far is hard work going to take you? Because Pud Colson, playing in league play, didn't display nearly the same amount of offensive flair as he did at the U18s. Now, you may be asking, okay, well, what does that mean? Well, it means that the offensive flair wasn't really there to begin with. 
But Colson's game doesn't have too much offensive finesse. That's something that Will Scouch said in his video as well, and I agree with it 100%. From my point looking at it, Pud Colson isn't a gifted playmaker. He's not a guy who can create space for himself and find amazing scoring chances and take really good shots and score flashy goals. Pud Colson is a guy who forces the play and who drives things on his own very well. When he's playing at the U18s, great, that's amazing. He's a power forward, he can go over to the net, crash the net in front, score some goals from his knees on the backhand top shelf. He can totally do that because he's playing against weaker competition and his playstyle and his aggressiveness certainly overpowers in that space. But playing for the MHL, playing in the VHL, playing in the KHL in a limited role, he's not going to be able to do that. Sure, the work ethic is still there. Sure, the speed is still there. Sure, the strength is still there. But the overwhelming dominance that he displays against people of his own age group, that's not there anymore. And ultimately, that's why Pud Colson doesn't really produce. That's the big overarching conclusion that I have in regards to Pud Colson and his production on the VHL ice surface and the KHL and all that. His game, while very aggressive, very admirable, and very strong, it's not offensively flashy. And although he has some really good tools, his passing is fairly accurate, his shot is really good, the toolbox isn't necessarily there to produce at the level that he was at. Pud Colson scored some very individual base goals at the Flinka Gretzky. Goals where he rushed in, dangled, and he scored. Goals where he was on the one-timer and he absolutely hammered it. But playing in league play, he's not going to be able to have the space for one-timers all too often, nor is he going to be able to force his way to the net all too often because the competition is better. So if Pud Colson is able to develop his game to a place where either A, he becomes completely dominant over everybody he plays physically, and he overwhelms the majority of the competition wherever he goes, and he exhibits a pure power forward style. Or B, he learns the ins and outs of being able to playmake, set things up, do some nifty, shifty, dangerous passes, and get things off that way. Because Scouch said this in his video too, but Colson doesn't really do any dangerous passes. All his passing is very consistent, but it's never dangerous. It's just over to other teammates, along the boards, etc. So, in my eyes, I define Put Colson as a player who doesn't necessarily take the risks that he needs to to get that many points as he can. Because he's got some amazing tools, but the production and the way he uses those tools, it's just not at the same level in league play as it was against other 18-year-olds. So overall, that's what I believe the problem is with Pud Colson. Quote unquote, the problem. It's not necessarily like a problem problem, but it's just, hey, if you were looking for more points, then this is why he's not getting those. Hope you enjoyed this video. Social Times Trust Society 9, and bye.